Welcome everyone. Uh, today we are going to do a love reading. Just love. Um, and it's interesting because when I decided to do a love reading, I was thinking, well, maybe I should do like past love or, you know, exes or new love. And then I thought, you know what, I'm not even going to put a title on it. So this is just for love, for whatever the circumstances may be. Hopefully it'll be able to bring you some clarity in that. Um, this is going to be for all signs, by the way. Um, yeah, so I'm going to use four decks to really get like some deep answers here. We are going to use Mother Mary for her beautiful words of wisdom, but I think I'm going to take Mother Mary at the end of the reading this time. Um, I'm going to use the major arcanas, which I use here and there. Um, but really for the bullet points of the reading. So, you know, we'll take three or four. Sometimes it tells its own little story. Again, this is this is just major arcanas. I can't remember if I split the deck up or if it came that way. I've had them forever. Um, we're going to use what's called the celestial or divine celestial tarot to clarify. And for the main spread. This is a deck that um, I used to own. And uh, when I lived in Rhode Island, and then when I moved here in with Sam, um, I could only take two suitcases with me. And so I couldn't take all my tarot cards. I had a lot. Um, but this is one of the decks I loved. And my daughter begged me to leave it with her. So I did. Um, and now I'm working with a company who one of their decks was a romance angel. So I was like, yes, we will, we will take them. I'm glad to have them back, back in the family again. Um, so that will be your main spread. But again, we're going to use the Gilded Tarot for just bullet points. And I'm going to go ahead and begin again, all signs. Um, you know, I read through my spirit guide, so I would definitely ask your spirit guides to give you signs of confirmation. You know, is this reading for me or are there just certain messages for me? And I feel like you'll be surprised because I feel like they'll come through for you. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and open up this reading and... Start with the major arcanas. Love, love, love. Mm. It's weird how they split. It's like there's this and there's this. Okay, well, let's see. We have the emperor. The emperor. Um, and, you know, I'm not really reading these as people, but I will give you the sign. This is Aries major arcana. Um, but this is what I'm feeling. I'm feeling that what this is speaking about is someone who, um, well, I just get this feeling has lived a lot of life. You know what I mean? Like has had a lot of experiences and it doesn't have to be someone, you know, who's old to have these experiences. This is someone I feel like has definitely learned from their experiences. And I, al I also feel this person has a very empathetic soul, um, a compassionate heart. You know, the emperor is normally someone we can look up to. Um, and I definitely feel that here, like someone that I can look up to. It can represent someone who may be a little older than you. It doesn't have to, but it can. It's also the father figure, by the way. So we have the emperor and then we have the world. So, the next chapter. First of all, when I see the world, the first thing I think about is someone's spirituality. And I feel like you're becoming one with your spirituality. And what I mean by that is you're trusting within the signs that are being sent to you. You're understanding that, you know, like think of like the law of attraction, um, even though I, I kind of feel like you don't even have to think about that because I feel like this is something that may just happen naturally. Like you'll just meet 
naturally. But anyways, so this is a new chapter that's opening up. And it's interesting because we just went through the Virgo Pisces supermoon. And um, why am I even bringing that up? I don't know. Um, the last time that we had that conjunction was back in 2015 to 2017. So for some of you, that may mean something. The next time we're going to have it is February of 2027. So I don't know. Other than to say that this is saying, but there, here's a new chapter that is about to open up. We have, well, hello, fool. Now that is the perfect energy. Um, and then we have the hangman. So we have the hangman, it's mirroring the emperor. Let's talk about the hangman for a second. This could have, this could certainly talk about, you know, there's been a pause in the action. You know, maybe I've been like, you know, I would love to fall in love. The right person has to come along. Um, but the hangman's really seeking wisdom. And, you know, mirroring the emperor, the emperor is always seeking wisdom. And then the world, which, again, I feel like it's when you're walking hand in hand with your spirituality. So the fool, it's it's about a new beginning. It's the willingness, you know. And it's interesting because the fool is coming out of the hangman's energy. So I feel like wherever there was a pause in the action, now it feels like it's about to open up. So the fool's going to signify to you that this is not about, you know, even if, if you already know this person, this is still not about like anything of the past. You know, the wisdom, yes. Um, and that's really what the fool has, the fool learns, right? That, that I can be successful on this next journey. Um, and I extract the wisdom of my past experiences, but at the same time, I let the experience go. So a new beginning, moving right into the world, the next chapter. You know, if I was going to see anyone as it relates to love, male or female, by the way, the emperor is someone I would definitely like to see. Um, and mainly because, again, this is someone that I can look up to. You know, here's a few clues about this emperor. Um, this is someone who is methodical. This is someone who feels comfortable putting plans in place. Definitely someone who cares about the underdog. You know, like, how, like feels good. They feel good when they can help others in some way. I feel like that's a good omen. All right, let's put those to the side. Excuse me. And let's bring in the romance angels. And I am going to use these as like a main spread. I've been using them as bullet points. But something today is telling me to do love. Love, love, love. All right. So we're just going to go right below all this. Again, the full. It's a new beginning after a period of time. Um, but let's say this is, this is with, you know, like this is me being with someone I've been with before. Um, I feel like then if anything went wrong, then I'd have to be willing to let that go. And both ways, by the way, you know, the emperor can be male or female. Um, and we want to remember that, like we're both masculine and feminine energy. We have light and dark within us. Um, but the full is like free and clear. Another thing I like about this is I feel like it's saying that whoever this person is, that they themselves um, are not in a relationship. They're not connected to another. Doesn't mean they never were. You know, they could be a father. But I don't feel like that has anything to do with, you know, 
like you're going to have to wait until I leave someone before we can open up this door. I feel like it's already happened. All right, let's bring in the romance angels. This could be the one. This could be the one. You already met the romantic partner you seek. Interesting. Now, I do read past lives also, so sometimes I do feel like it can speak about a past life, but I also feel like it's probably speaking about this lifetime. And that may be why I said I have to be willing, you know, to start like at the beginning. So even if it's old, it's new again. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. You know, I always notice the image on this card where, interesting because the emperor is the father figure, right? And here, I feel like we have a single mother with her daughter on her lap. And I feel like this person, um, this man who is, it kind of feels like he's, he, he wants to court this person. Um, but it, it's like this woman is saying, you know, but we come as a package of deal. I feel like the daughter is listening very, very intently to what this man has to say, you know, almost like protecting the mother. And then I'm just looking at the image and it kind of reminds me of a past life. So we'll see. Free yourself. Free yourself and the rest will follow. It's time to take back control of your life. It's time to take back control of your life. Interesting, it's coming right under the fold. Matter of fact, let's slide these over because I want them to connect. Well, hello, wedding. So, you know, could this be a physical wedding? Of course it could be. But I feel like what this, the wedding card really speaks about is a connection. Um, you know, like a true connection. So interesting is also mirroring this could be the one. This situation involves marriage. Mm. Coming under the hangman. We have let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. You know, and coming under this could be the one. Um, even if this is like someone coming back into your life, you're coming back into their life. I still feel the energy of like allowing it to like not trying to push anything. Um, especially with the full here, because again, it's about a new beginning. It's the beginning of something. But it is opening up a new chapter. And that's why I feel like wedding is also here. Because the world to me signifies, well, the way I feel it is it's like the final chapter. And what I mean by that in love is this is probably the person you're going to spend the rest of your life with. Maybe it does go the whole way to a wedding. You know, and I feel like the chances are very good that it will. All right, we have playfulness. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful side, I'm sorry, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Getting to know each other. Playfulness. Right under the world. You know, next to let go control issues. So, again, I feel like this is, you know, and the full is very playful. Some of you yourselves may have just become single or you're on that, 
that journey of becoming single. And um, one of the main reasons I'm saying that is because you have the energy of taking back control of your life. So that tells me somewhere along the way, you felt like you lost control of your life. And I have to like pull that back into the hangman's energy. You know what I also feel? I feel like as this starts to come together, because, you know, I wouldn't be doing this reading if I didn't believe or if my guides didn't, you know, put the belief in me that this is talking about, you know, ultimately, ultimately um, a true connection. But how we get there, that's really what I'm looking at, how we get there. And I love the full going right into the world again, but moving out of the hangman's energy. So you're freeing yourself. Um, I feel, you know, and I don't feel like it's the emperor because I feel like the emperor is already free or single, I guess is the word. Um, I don't feel like there's a lot that the emperor would say, you know, I got to clean this up and clean this and that up within my life. Quite the opposite. Like, I feel like, you know, I feel like this is someone who's got their shit together. And, and I feel like you wouldn't have it any other way anyway. You know, like if you're going to come into my life, have your shit together. We have finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Under free yourself. Um, I definitely feel like one side and I, because I don't feel like it's the emperor, I feel it's probably more you unless you are the emperor. Um, you know, I feel like this is there. Potentially you were in a relationship and I don't mean with this person. Um, you could have been in a relationship with that person like years ago, but I feel like this is talking about a current relationship or even a current relationship that you just got out of. Um, and, you know, it could talk about like what I'm feeling is like a divorce and, you know, going through that process, you know, splitting of the money, um, the material things, all that. And, you know, for some of you, you may not be a hundred percent free yet. And that may be why free yourself is here. It's time to take back control of your life. We have love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Under wedding. We have, well, hello, new love. New love. Under the emperor, or mirrored by the emperor, I should say. Mm, some Someone from your past is coming back. Interesting, because we may be reading a few different energies here. We have children. Well, I felt that. I felt where some... You know, you may either be a single father or a single mother. And I, I definitely feel like one of the things that you would say is, you know, we come as a package deal. You can't just have me and ignore my children. Your love life is being affected by your children. I also feel for some of you who may be going through a, um, you know, I, I hate to say divorce, but let's just say a breakup. Um, you could certainly have children together, you know, because it feels to me like like one side here is is freeing themselves, is in the process of freeing themselves. But it feels like, you know, I have to go through, you know, potentially cutting a ties um, and that's going to affect my finances. Our children may be a part of it. And then we have flirt. Flirt. 
extend your lighthearted energy to others. Interesting, because I feel like as you reclaim yourself, and, you know, that can mean many different things, um, but the one thing I'm feeling is, you know, if I was with someone who, I don't know, I was probably in love with them, um, but I don't feel like the, there's love now, because I feel like this is ending, if it hasn't already en ended, and maybe that is part of divine timing. Because I do feel like the emperor, to me, feels single, like not connected to anyone else. And then there's a lot of like light hearted type of energy. You know what I mean? Like, like just allowing yourself to just enjoy the moment. You know, someone may approach you and you may not even be in the market for love. You're like, I'm not really looking for love. But then someone approaches you, you know, whether just you're standing in line at the grocery store or however it happens. Um, and a conversation may may begin. And in that conversation, right away, I feel like through that conversation, actually just the meeting of each other, like, puts this feeling within me. Um, and again, even if I wasn't looking for love, it's like, well, that doesn't stop it from coming in. You know, love comes in the most unexpected of times, in the most unexpected of ways, and that's what I feel. You know, like you, you're freeing yourself from the past, and once you do that, then I feel like then you're jumping into the fool's energy. You're ready for a new beginning. Um, I definitely feel like, you know, there's been some time. And I definitely feel some of the situation, the situations that have kind of stopped you from jumping into the fool's energy is because... Again, you may be cutting ties with someone right now. So it's interesting that we have new love mirroring the emperor, but also right below the emperor is this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Now, it doesn't even have to mean you're in a relationship with them. It may just be someone you know who uh, maybe they hear that you are about to free yourself. You know what I mean? And so if this is anyone I already know, I feel like then they already know that you're about to free yourself. Because I don't feel like the emperor would make the first move if they knew that, let's just say, you were still married. Though, as I say that, I also feel the playfulness of this, the room, you know, like the romantic gestures. Um, it's almost like I can't help but like get a little excited here. I definitely feel as this starts to come towards you and you towards them that one of the most important energies to me feels like just allowing someone, like allowing a conversation to take place. I don't feel like it's about moving quickly, though that doesn't mean it, that doesn't mean it won't move quickly. Um, and that's why I feel like some of you don't even feel like you're in the market for love. But nonetheless, it shows up. Especially for some of you who, again, are connected to someone. Um, but I don't feel there's love left. I don't feel there's happiness or joy. If anything, I feel there's more issues. In taking back control of your life. Moving into the full, well... To me, that feels like you're taking back your life. All right, let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Separation. 
Well, I already know what this is. This is for someone who, again, is just getting out of a relationship. And again, there is no love loss. So I'm not talking, like, I don't want anybody to worry, like, this is someone else is going to break up with you. No, I feel like it's you that's here. Um, and I know it's not for everyone, but I do feel for some of you, it is talking about, like, a, a commitment you were in. And that commitment just, I don't know, doesn't feel like it, it, it exists any longer. At least the love. You know, it feels like it, it's more of a hassle than anything. Um, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. I definitely feel some of you are disconnecting. But it feels it feels right. And again, I'm not I don't want to make it look like I'm telling you like you should get a divorce or you should cut ties with someone. This would be for someone who's already thinking that or in the process of that. All right, let's bring in the um, Celestial Tarot. And let's go over this. Let's go a little deeper here. Give him a cut. Seven of Cups. So the Seven of Cups is where you are trying to make a decision. It's an emotional decision. Should I? Because I feel like the Emperor is offering a cup. And I feel like this is you questioning. Should I? Where? How far will this cup go? And let's not forget in the same line as like letting go of control issues, just allowing this to flow naturally. And I do feel like for some of you, again, you may not even be in the market for love, but yet you're here. So chances are you just want to see what's going on. We have the two of swords. Hmm. Two Swords is really a blindfold. And sometimes it's just something I don't want to face. We have the Hermit. Connected to the Fool. And free yourself. So the Hermit. Carter Virgo, by the way. But the Hermit is about reflection. And I feel like that's exactly what some of you have been in, like this energy of reflecting. You know, I feel like the hermit is asking spiritual questions to help me on this physical plane. Um, the hermit's definitely spiritual. And I feel like for some of you, it's important that whoever enters your life next, let's say, also be somewhat on the same page. I definitely feel like some of you have been reflecting upon whether to end a certain relationship, a current relationship. You know, nines are about reflection, but final reflection. And again, if you have children, that could be part of what makes it difficult. Um, let's say that you do, you know, you meet this person and they do, um, kind of feels like they activate your heart chakra, but yet I can see why there'd be a little fear. Two swords is not major, but can it block an opportunity? It can, you know, and it may be simply like, I'm afraid to give you my heart. 
But again, that may be another reason why to take it slow. Let it just be the playful energy it wants to be. We have, hello, two of cups. So, soulmate. I don't, you know, oh, that's the five of cups. Hmm. Interesting, because the five of cups, first of all, speaks about the energy that I may be in right now. And that's really where I'm focusing on the energy that I've lost, that, you know, the emotional, you know, it could be someone that I've lost, um, and it's interesting I said it was the Two of Cups because really in the Five of Cups, anytime you see a five, it does speak about change. Um, and when this person makes that change, well, what they do find is the Two of Cups, a soulmate. I feel like some of you may have had someone on your mind, in your heart, even though you were in a relationship. So for some of you, you you probably do know who this person is. Um, and if that's the case, I also love that the Emperor is the one that showed up. Because again, this is someone that I can look up to. This is someone who I feel like who has their life together. But I also feel... Well, I'm feeling if I'm in a current relationship um, or I just got out of a current relationship, am I going to be ready for love? Am I really ready for love? But then again, there's those two cups behind the five of cups. We have the nine of cups. I feel like you just became single. Or you're claiming the status. You know, the Nine of Cups speaks about inner harmony. It's also fulfillment of wishes. It's coming over like of control issues. Just allowing this to unfold naturally. You know, some of you have gotten to the point, you know, maybe you've already broke up with someone. And I do feel like this is singular energy. Um, and I already felt the, the Emperor was has a single status so you know maybe you're not there yet but i feel like if this is you like cutting those final ties then i feel the happiness within that the freedom within that the inner harmony within that and then we have the Nine of Wands. Okay. So the Nine of Wands coming over playfulness. Let's talk about the Nine of Wands for a second. Because it's mirroring um, the world. And someone from your past may be returning to your life. And in between it, that Nine of Wands. So Nine of Wands is where someone has really done some deep reflections like within their life, um, I'm looking, and you know, I call this person my spirit warrior because you're bold enough to look back, understand it, you know, understand different cycles in your life. Um, this is not about judging yourself. Interesting, we have two nines back to back also. So the two of swords is above it. Again, where I'm wearing a little bit of a blindfold, I feel like I can take that blindfold off. I feel like it's just being truthful and honest with yourself. You know, maybe whoever you were connected to over here, um, things did not work out the way that you thought that they would. But I also feel like don't put blame on yourself now, but also know your part in it. You know, in the Nine of Wands, I feel like that's what we're learning. We're learning who we are and being proud of, you know, the accomplishments in your life, the things that you've overcome. 
especially this line right here where that feels like it's a little bit of, again, freeing yourself. But financial issues and children. I may have stayed because of that. But I'm not finding joy or happiness any longer. Uh, you have three nines. So I feel like this side of the board is letting go of someone. But yet I feel like within your heart, and again, this can be past love. I mean, like a past life love. Um, because I feel like in my heart, there's been, you know, I want to say loneliness. Even though I was with someone, I still feel lonely. Like, I feel like I'm doing this on my own. And I do feel like you've given it, like, everything you could. And that, you know, to me, that should be enough. But, I mean, it's up to you. But I do feel like that should be enough. Because you're not finding this true fulfillment that your heart is seeking. I feel like that's because it's this person. Now, let's say this is someone that you do know that you were in a previous relationship with. Um, another reason why I like the Nine of Wands, because that means that everyone has reflected upon, let's just say, you know, what happened within that relationship. And again, it's not about judging each other. It's just about understanding it. We have the hangman again, right over finances and career. We have the seven of swords, but I do have to say it came in reverse. And I almost feel like I have to keep it in reverse, though. I feel like I also need to read it both ways. Some of the swords is untrustworthy energy. So, again, not to sound like a broken record, but I do feel like there's two sides to this reading. And I feel like one side is a current or a very current relationship where the person I was with um, was untrustworthy, you know, um, probably told me a lot of lies. It's coming over, love yourself first. So I feel like, you know, I needed to get back to myself. And I do feel like there is a need to understand, you know, whatever this person is saying or doing, that's their truth, not your truth. You know, because in the same breath, I feel like you are seeking. Again, I don't really feel like you're seeking love, so to speak. But if love was going to walk in my door, then I kind of know what I want it to look like. So as I say that, I also don't want you to put a whole lot of, ex you know, yes, put expectations that. You know, if I'm going to fall in love again, let this be the one. Let this be the person who can truly love me for who I am and me them. I feel the difficulty of a past relationship or a current relationship. And again, I'm not talking about if someone's returning. Of course, there could have been some difficulty in that. But I feel like that is cleared up through the Nine of Wands energy. And you have the nine of cups right before that. So inner harmony. And that tells me that this seven of swords, which normally is deception and envy, it doesn't feel like the emperor. It feels like someone else. 
Now, it being reversed, kind of love that because it's mirroring the Nine of Cups. So, just the leaving of this type of relationship where literally I couldn't trust them, you know. And again, I feel like some of you stayed longer than you really wanted to. But I feel like it's because of either your children or a financial issue. You could have been like, you know, financially tied together in some way. But I also feel like you'll figure that out. Um, because I do feel like in that Five of Cups, you know, in the beginning of the Five of Cups, um, like thinking about like, woe is me, like the emotional situations that are not working out. But do I take that or do I make a change? Well, that's exactly what a five is about, making that change. And, you know, you may not even be single for long. Again, maybe this emperor will know, like, oh, look who just became single. Look who's on the market again. Yet, I feel like they may have a little work to do to really reach you because I don't feel like you're like ready just to jump in, you know, like especially if I just dealt with this difficult energy. I don't know if I'm ready just to jump into something. I don't think that you can help feel the energy between the two of you. And I'm talking about the new person. You know, the new love. I, I feel like you won't be able to help but feel. Um, you know, it's like they bring your inner child out. Again, doesn't mean that you're going to be like, oh, yes, let's just move right into this. But I feel like you should give it a chance. Give it a chance. And, you know, I feel like I need to go back up here again because I keep saying current relationship. You know, we can talk about even an older relationship or just love in period um, where, you know, you expect love or like you hope that love would be one way. But it just hasn't been that way. I feel there is a sense of longing in that Five of Cups. And maybe what I'm longing for is my true soulmate. You know, maybe some of the people I've been with have been free will. Could have even been karmic. And listen, if it's karmic, then there's lessons. I feel like there's lessons within everything. Um, but the Nine of Wands is really reflecting upon all of that. And I even like these two nines side by side because it feels like two, two people who are single. All right, let's keep going. I do feel like someone did a number on you. And that's one of the reasons why you may have a harder time of just like moving directly into this. But I don't feel like there's any need to... Again, let go of control issues. So allowing it to unfold naturally. Oh, my light just went off. And now it's back on. Hmm, this has been happening a lot lately. Um, interesting. All right, we have, hello, Will. This is destiny. Over new love. Even if it's new love or old love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. That's the word I think I was looking for. Like I meet this person and even though I may have no intentions of falling in love, I can't help but feel what I feel. And that can even be a little scary. But this is your destiny. You know, like, I feel like you're destined to be together. Um, 
All right, let's put these back together. We have the Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups is mirroring that Two of Swords. Eight of Cups is coming over. Someone from your past is returning. Eight of Cups is also mirroring the world. The next chapter. I feel like some of you, it is about, you know what I feel like is, is happening over here where I do feel like there was some difficulty. I feel like you're clearing that energy. And it may take time or it may have taken time. Um, and that's okay. You know, whatever time you need is whatever time you need. But the Eight of Cups to me means that I have found, you know, first of all, I, especially with the Nine of Wands right above it, it's like taking a good hard look within my emotional house, clearing of uh, the past cups that have been knocked over, the understanding of them. You know, and it doesn't mean I have to like look at every single cup because sometimes it's just free will choices. And then you have the nine of cups right there. Now, this is coming over. Someone from your past is returning. So if that is the case in this lifetime, then again, I feel like this reflection is so important because we're jumping into the fool's energy. That means that whatever happened in the past is going to stay in the past. You know, it, even if this is an old, and then, you know, I'm saying relationship, but it doesn't even have to be a relationship. It could just be someone that you already know. Um, but this is about starting from like ground zero. We have the Ten of Swords coming over children. We have the moon. Well, um, first of all, Carter Pisces, ruler of cancer. I don't think I've been given any signs. Um, we have Virgo. And really, that's the only major arcana we have besides the moon. So Carter Pisces, ruler of cancer. But, you know, the moon to me, and it's funny, I just... I think I just spoke about the Virgo Pisces supermoon that happened in September. Um, and, you know, to me, that was all about, I feel like what that supermoon is speaking about is new chapters. And that may be why I keep talking about um, the last time we had that conjunction was back in 2015 to 2017 that may ring a bell for some of you maybe some of you this is this person is from that time period um but the moon can talk about uncertainties it's coming over the energy of flirt but it can also be very dreamy energy And I feel like the Ten of Swords over children, this is some of you just saying, you know, the last thing I want to do is hurt my children. Um, and maybe, you know, maybe it is their father that you are breaking up from or you have already. But I feel like that's kind of where your worry lies. Um, but here's the thing. I feel like whatever I went through, in this past relationship, I kind of feel like my children did too. And what do I mean by that? I mean that the energy that I felt, you know, potentially the sadness, um, you know, the Ten of Swords talks about dagger after dagger in the back. Interesting, I'm picking up, you know, there could also be a, um, a parent who like is in the children's life and then not 
And I feel like if that's the case, like you've had enough of that. Interesting how I opened this reading saying that when this this new love opens up, that you are a package deal. And I feel like I should give it the playful energy, you know, the flirting, the um the conversation, all of that. Like, you know, again, not trying to project it too far out in the future because I feel like there may still be some things that you yourself are overcoming, learning. You know what I mean? Um see what else we have. The sun, beautiful. Uh, Cardelia. But this is about clarity. This is the illuminator. Interestingly, we have the sun and the moon. Because the moon is the feminine energy. The sun is the masculine energy. You know, when the sun comes out in a love reading. Especially because we have the seven of swords here. It is to remind you that whatever is done in the dark, it will come to the light. But I feel like what this is saying is that this new relationship, again, even if it's old again, this new relationship is being ushered in by the sun. So it's like a brand new day. It is playfulness. You know, it's it's both allowing their inner child to, like, have fun. I feel like your guides are also saying that we're, that we're definitely going to help guide you. You know, don't put a lot of worry like, oh, how do I know you won't do what the last person did? Well, sometimes that's when we need to give people time to reveal who they truly are. But I feel like this is your guide saying that you don't need to worry about this. Like this is coming in the sun's energy. It means it's coming in the light. And then we have the seven of wands. So this line right here is somewhat difficult. Um, it feels to me like this is the energy of what I have been getting over. Um you know, even what I've been learning from because of the hermit, there is a real chance to understand the spiritual lesson. Some of you, I feel like you have such an easy time giving, but you haven't received love in the way that you deserve. Now, part of that is because of the choices I made, and I don't mean that in judgment, just that the person I may have chosen is, you know, incapable of true, full, complete love. You know, putting me first and me them first. I feel quite the opposite of what you've been dealing with. And it makes more and more sense why I might be a little leery of this new person coming in and striking up a conversation with me. Hmm. So Seven of Wands is about standing your ground. Um, and But you know what I feel like it is? I feel like and I keep saying children, you know, I guess you don't have to have children, but I do feel that a big majority of you do. And I feel like you're just tired. I'm tired of being in, you know, connected to someone who just is giving me so little. Also, I feel like it's affecting the children. And I feel like there is this longing like, there's this longing um, for a type of love, let's just say. Like, I don't even know if I want to put a name to it. Now, again, because we have someone you already met, 
this rom romantic partner you seek. Some of you, that's what that two of cups is behind that five of cups. It is someone you already know. But again, I feel like if that's the case, they're coming to the table free and clear. And if anything of a negative nature happened there, I feel like there's been clarity over that. So each has reflected upon, you know, their own doing, like getting to know themselves above all. And I do need to know, how am I in love? Because here I feel like I was giving and I was giving and I really tried. I really tried to give it my all, but it just never, it never fulfilled me. Like I couldn't find that inner fulfillment. Well, that five, again, change. And then it moves you immediately into inner fulfillment. Now, it doesn't even have to mean that there's someone else in your life at this point. Some of you, you're becoming single. That may be what that separation is, right? I'm separating. And it feels like as soon as I do that, as soon as I cut that energy out of my life, and listen, if it's a father of your children, then, it, you know, I don't know that you can cut them out completely, but you yourself can move on within your life. So you are finding this inner harmony. And then the wheel right underneath that, destiny. You know, to me, destiny means the right time like in divine timing i can't see i can't see it being like if i was happy over here but then this person shows up well this person's my soulmate now feel quite the opposite I feel like i was unhappy here and it really took me to make the changes necessary right because i feel like i didn't have inner fulfillment I was probably lied to, maybe even cheated on. Um, but, you know, how oft, how long am I going to take that? And again, the reason why I stayed so long is because there were, you know, the love may have died, but there were still certain things that tied the two of you together. But doesn't mean I can't separate in the meantime. Because I do feel both people are, are claiming a single status. All right. I want to look at a couple things. Um, oh, I thought a card just came out. I think I want to look at these two nines together. Because I feel like this is one nine is you and one nine is them. Okay, let's take what's faced up first. Hmm, Ace of Wands, inspired action. You know, to me, this is a sense of comfort because I really can let go of control when the Ace of Wands shows up. This talks about you being inspired to take certain actions. Like, that's all I have to wait for. You know, the Ace of Wands signifies to me passion, desire. But it's also about taking the action steps to bring something about. But I feel like this is divine sending signs to both of you when this, this fateful day is going to happen. We have the Queen of Swords, can be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Look at this, Justice. Well, right in that line of where I feel like something's coming to an end. Justice is about cutting ties. It can represent a divorce. You know, for some of you, again, wedding can certainly represent a marriage. Um, but again, I don't feel like this is energy where I want to stay any longer. 
So this is cutting those ties. And, you know, first of all, I'm cutting the emotional ties. And then I feel like I'm moving out or they're moving out because it's bringing me to a single status. Now, do I feel like everything is tied up? You know, like everything's tied up in a neat, neat, neat little package before this enters? Probably not. And that may be one of the reasons why you may be like, huh, I don't know. We have the Three of Swords right over the Seven of Swords. It, it's so interesting how this side of the table feels like where all the distress is at. Where this side of the table feels like this is where all the love is at. Three swords is a broken heart. And you may have given someone three chances. And then three times they let you down. And now it feels like enough is enough. We have the emperor again. Interesting. I don't know. Was I, I don't know. Was I looking at something or was I just taking cards? We have judgment. Well, this is your spiritual team. And this goes perfect with the Ace of Wands. Because your spiritual team is calling you to the present moment. This is where we send your signs. And that Ace of Wands is going to be a sign. Again, inspired action. Judgment talks about a rebirth. So, for some of you, someone coming back into your life. Listen, if that's the case, I'm telling you the energy would not be the same. And what I mean by that, if there was any issues. First of all, let's say there were issues. Then I feel like both would come to the table understanding it but I but I kind of feel like I that I can let go of it's like your spiritual team is helping to guide you to the person that you've been longing for even if, again if you don't know who this is it's just like I've had this longing in my heart you know I I'm looking for mm, I don't not looking but like, I just haven't had this emotional feeling that my soul is really seeking. We have a high priestess. This is your intuition. You know, it's interesting because the high priestess, you know, sometimes I read her as um, the one who is in charge of the Akashic Records. And the Akasha, the Akashic records are a record of everything that's happened in this lifetime. Everything. And I'm saying that because it's coming next to judgment, which, again, judgment. I need you in the present moment. This is where I'm going to send your signs. Interesting that the emperor is now tied right to that ace of wands. Though you may also be the emperor, so it can be like-minded energy. But to me, this kind of feels like predestined. Like this was the time. This is the time that your souls wanted to come together. I just need, as your spiritual team, I just need to remind you of that. We have the Eight of Wands. Well, fast-moving energy. Also, what I think about, I bring about. Mirroring the Emperor. And again, I'm reading the Emperor as someone that I can look up to. Someone who is intelligent. Um, I can probably have long, meaningful discussions with. Where over here, I feel like this person was more about themselves. There wasn't like these long, meaning, meaningful conversations. If anything, there was probably fighting.
And in this five of cups of energy where I do feel like I'm longing. I'm longing for love, but the right love. And I may not even know that I'm putting that energy out into the universe. You know, it reminds me of like when you like, you know, I've been in relationships that weren't great. And then you lay your head down at night on your pillow and, you know, you're either thinking of someone that you already know or you're just thinking like this is not the type of love I want in my life. Um, but I can relate this back to Sam and I's story because, you know, I thought about Sam often. Um, you know, he wasn't in the forefront because I was busy living my life. And we knew each other from when we were teenagers. So that's how much time had passed, 40 years to be exact, 40 years passed. So... You know, was I subconsciously manifesting him into my life? I kind of feel I was. All right. Eight of Swords. Mm. Page of Wands. My little risk taker. And then, beautiful, the Four of Swords. Healing. Healing over everything. Not just one thing. Healing over this relationship. That does feel hard. That didn't work out. That I was probably cheated on. Um, lied to. And maybe I took a lot of that on myself. You know, and I also want to say children is right underneath that. So I feel like this healing is for you. And potentially your children. If you have children. Four of Swords is mirroring that Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords is a self-created prison. This is literally where I'm putting up walls. And the reason I'm putting up these walls is I just want to protect myself. You know, this is a human condition. Um, because our spiritual being would say, listen to your intuition. Your intuition is your GPS. And you have your you have the high priestess here. But I feel like the Four of Wands or the Four of Swords is saying you are putting down these walls. And listen, it may take some time. I don't feel like this is about anything that needs to move quickly. But I do feel like there's going to be an instant recognition of like, whoa, you're different. You're different. Let's not forget, destiny is sitting right over new love. Destined. And I feel like judgment, your spiritual team, is just coming in to remind you that. Like, this was predestined. And, you know, I feel like sometimes soulmates... I mean, like a real soulmate that, that we're meant to potentially spend the rest of our lives with. Some, you know, we have more than one soulmate. And some soulmates are just teaching us. Sometimes what we're learning is what we don't want in love. Like, I'm very clear now what I don't want. But then certain soulmates come in um, that I feel, you know, they come in the right time. And I do feel like it's predestined. And your spiritual team is just reminding you of that. Again, no need for the walls. Because you are going to be inspired to take certain action steps. And I feel like that's what's going to lead the two of you together. Okay. Let's look at, let's look at the wheel.
<laughs> Excuse me. Age of Cups. Well, there's your inner child. You know, and a lot of this energy is calling for your inner child. This is where the playfulness lies. You already have that energy. You know, many times it's the Page of Cups can talk about healing that inner child. But, I, but I, what I'm really feeling is this is the beginning. And it is of a playful nature. Like, I feel like my inner child is going to recognize it very quickly. Doesn't mean I move quickly. Doesn't even mean I say those words, but I still feel it. All right. We have the Nine of Swords. We have the Page of Pentacles. We have the Death card. All right, I want to stop for a second. Uh, first of all, Death card can can represent a Scorpio. Um, but this is what I'm feeling. Page of Cups is first, right? We're looking at your destiny. And the Page of Cups, to me, I feel like is a couple different things. I feel like it's you feeling good within your own skin again. I feel like it's you. Remember, we have healing here. So I feel like this energy up here, I feel like, where did I take all this pain and sorrow within my inner child. So I feel like that's what's being healed. That's what's allowing you to bring down these walls. Though the Nine of Swords is here. And that is worry. But it's unnecessary worry. And then the Page of Pentacles to me talks about. You know situations you've been in. And they were really there to teach you. The Page of Pentacles I feel like. It's about learning throughout my life. It's not a one-time thing. I continue to learn and I continue to expand. And then the death card. So the closing of a door. You know, the death card is right here by judgment. And judgment, present moment, rebirth. Death card is the same thing. I close the door, a new door opens. Well, we already know what new door is going to open. I feel like this is more about how you will receive it. All right. We have, well, hello, Ten of Pentacles. We have the Six of Swords. Nice. We have hmm, the Nine of Pentacles. And then... We have the chariot. Okay. I know this is a lot of cards, but. You know, right after the death card. So the closing of a chapter, let's say. And that's what the fold represent and the world. They both represent the next chapter. The death card is just saying, allow that to happen. You know, even if that means a separation. But listen, it's not that I'm telling you again to leave someone, but this, but what I'm feeling is you yourself are ready to leave this person or you already have. And, you know, it may take a while to like let it all sink in, figure it all out. And I feel like that's what the nine of wands is figuring it all out. Um, but then that healing energy over all this even the worry of your mind. So I close that door and what shows next? The Ten of Pentacles. Well, let me tell you how I read the Ten of Pentacles. First of all, it is the house of abundance. So let's just say any money or material things that I lost by the cutting of ties over here, I definitely feel you'll regain it. You know, the emperor, I don't feel like it's someone who comes into your life who's broke, who doesn't have a job. Quite the opposite. I feel like they're doing pretty good in their life. Um, but to me, it's a house that takes root. 
It's a house of loyalty. And then you have the Six of Swords. So Six of Swords is the realization of the energy that's been toxic to me. The people who've been toxic to me. And the willingness to say no more. No more, no more, no more. This is you moving away from that energy. And I love that it's right over the Four of Swords. So I feel like that Four of Swords is helping you to move forward. And then it moves into the Nine of Pentacles. Well, the Nine of Pentacles, first of all, is independent success. You know, independent self-employment. But really how I read the Nine of Pentacles, you know, I do read it that way. Uh, so for some of you, this could certainly signify that you're moving into a period of time where, you know, not only do I feel like this love is coming in, but I also feel you're feeling so much better within your own skin that you yourself are creating, um, you know, this could be really creative type energy and you could be creating success for yourself. Again, I feel like whatever you lost, you're going to regain it. You're just regaining it in a different way, in a better way. Nine of Pentacles is the energy of feeling like I can stand on my own two feet it's really an independent energy. But let's not forget, we also have the Nine of Cups, inner fulfillment, but also fulfillment of a wish or wishes. And then that Ace of Wands, the inspiration, the action steps to take directly from your spiritual team. And then it moves into the Chariot. Well, Chariot to me is balance of the feminine and the masculine, the light and the dark. It really represents unlimited potential. The chariot's moved, the chariot moves by our intentions, not by the reins of the horse. So I tell the chariot where to go. And if I believe that this really can have unlimited potential, then I'm just going to allow myself to believe that. You know, it's a very positive type energy. So whatever intentions you're putting out there at this point are positive. And I feel like very quickly you receive that energy back so that, you know, if, if I'm putting that energy out, I meet this person and I'm like, oh, I, th I, th I feel like this is the person. I feel this is the person I've been longing for then it reminds you that it really can have unlimited potential. You know, the only thing you got to remember here that was free will. So if I feel or I put those intentions out there that no, it's not going to work. Well, then I hurt my chances, so to speak. And I don't even know if that was the right way of saying it. But look at the chariot mirroring destiny. You know, sometimes things don't work out with certain people. Um, but we may give them so much time, right? Like we, we give them so much time and that's okay because I feel like if that's the case, you can walk away from this saying, Hey, listen, I tried everything and it still didn't work out. But maybe this is when it was meant to come to an end. You know, again, extracting the wisdom. Like, what have I learned? And sometimes I'm telling you, it's simply, I know what I don't want in love now. And I feel like it may have taken some time for you to come to that realization of just not happy. But the Nine of Cups signifies, well, you will be, my dear. Follow our action steps. This feels predestined. No matter who it is, whether I already know this person or it's someone brand new, it feels like it's definitely coming through playful energy. To me, the world is signifying that it has the opportunity 
to last the rest of your life. But the fool's energy is going to be really important too. Because again, in the fool's energy, I'm extracting the wisdom of my past experiences. But I'm allowing myself to have a new beginning. It's not always easy to do. And I have a feeling that's why the hangman is there. It may have taken me a while, you know, to be able to put the past behind me. Even see it in that way. Okay, maybe sometimes certain chapters really are meant to come to an end. And sometimes the universe will make us feel uncomfortable to the point where we finally do make a change. You know, especially with the six of uh, six of swords down here. It is talking about past toxic energy or even current toxic energy. But this is you leaving it. This is you saying no more to it. And again, what follows that is another nine. Singular energy. So I feel like this reading is really talking about, for some of you, freeing yourself from, you know, the people, even the thoughts that just hold you back. And I feel like, you know, usually I feel like the, I feel like divine is patient with us, you know, whenever we're ready to move, then, then we'll move. But I kind of feel here, it's the opposite. It's almost like, it's like your team is making you feel somewhat uncomfortable. So you do make this change. And then, wow, when you make this change, wow. Um, I know I have a lot of cards out, but I just want to look at that Five of Cups real quick. We have, interesting, the Five of Wands. We have the Strength card. That's nice. Uh, first of all, card of Leo. We have double Leo on the board. Um, but before we move on, let's talk about this. So the five of cups really, again, is that energy of, you know, where I'm focusing on. This is what the meaning of the card is. Like, where is your focus? Is your focus on all that's gone wrong? Or, and then with the five of wands with that, you know, to me, that feels like there's been a lot of arguing, um, a lot of ego. Some of you may have been connected to like a narcissistic type energy. And maybe you tried your best to change them, but we can't. And it's not even our job. That's their lesson. So the strength card, that is really, you know, to me, that's someone who is courageous who is willing to look at the truth, you know, and how is it affecting me? And if I have children, how is it affecting my children? We have the six of wands. Well, that's the energy of victory. We have the two of wands. To me, that's kind of like, say, I'm sorry, the four of wands. Well, hello. That's a commitment. We have... The Four of Pentacles, the King of Wands, and then the Five of Pentacles. All right, so three fives right there. Could be three changes. Five of Pentacles could talk about, you know, some change in your money. And again, if this is the cutting of ties with someone, that makes sense. Um... And I also want to add one more layer. <clears throat> Let's say I was, I'm with someone and I don't know. How do I want to say this? You know, the five of pentacles speaks about something that happens outside of your control. 
And to me, it kind of feels like, again, like your spiritual team making you feel a little uncomfortable. And, you know, certain people may be like, why would my spiritual team do that to me? Well, because something is predestined over here. Well, I mean, this love is predestined. And I feel like this over here has run its course. But I feel like it's really about the promise of a new love. And again, I'm seeing the energy because the four of wands is mirroring this nine of cups. So I feel like single. Yes, I may be single for a little while, but I don't feel like for long. Because the four of wands is about a true commitment. You know, they call it the marriage card. Now. I don't feel like it's the same energy because it's sitting next to the six of wands and you being able to overcome what was. So long story short, I feel like the day is going to come when there is a new commitment that is made. But I feel like this commitment is a true commitment. I do feel like it's predestined. And, you know, that's why your guys would make you feel a little uncomfortable. You know, maybe I've been thinking about ending something. I keep thinking about it, but change is hard, right? Change is hard, but in the same time, like, I guess if I could look at the Akashic Records and see that this love exists, then I'd easily move into it. But because I really can't, I just have to trust my intuition. And it's right next to your guides, trusting within your spiritual team, trusting them in what way that signs will be sent. Signs will be sent. And I feel like, so I do feel like this separation happens. Um, and, and I feel like the separation, it doesn't include sadness. It, quite the opposite. I feel like you're feeling good again. You're feeling free again. You know, again, that nine of cups, inner harmony. Then also fulfillment of a wish. I feel like that, that wish goes way back to that five of cups. And it's not those three cups that have been knocked over. It's those two cups that have been that have yet to enter. Or well, they're going to enter. And either the second emperor is just saying that you two are very like-minded, or literally, because it's coming next to judgment, it's clarification that this is the person that you had agreed, the two of you um, wanted to finish your lives with. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like this is love. Not just love, but this is commitment. But this is true commitment. This is commitment I can count on. You know, I feel like in the Four of Wands energy, this is not me trying to get someone to be with me or them trying to get me to be with them. Um, it's just it's just true. You know what I mean? It's true love. Yet, again, you don't have to move quickly. You take the time you need. Because I don't feel like once this comes together, I don't feel like it's going to separate. I feel like if there are any issues, this is the type of energy where I can really speak about my concerns and someone will actively listen to them. I also feel like this side is someone who very easily puts actions behind their words. So if I say I love you, I show it to you. And I can easily say that to you. And it makes me happy to show you. Over here, I feel like it was different. 
So, let's go ahead and bring Mother Mary over this. Um, I feel like we're reading for quite a few different situations here. Um, but I'm just hoping that you're going to find your way through this, if that makes sense. Um, but here's the thing. When judgment comes out and the Ace of Wands is next to it, I know you're going to be guided no matter what. Um, do you take those action steps? I feel like you're going to. And I don't even feel like you're taking these these this inspired action, even thinking that it's going to connect me to someone. I feel like you're going to be somewhat surprised. But in the best of ways. And again, a conversation may just open up. And, you know, one of the clues may be, First of all, I feel like this person is probably a great communicator. Um, but I feel like the the conversation would flow. And I feel like immediately I'd have like those butterflies within me. You know, and that can be scary. I get it. But I, I'm hoping it doesn't stop you. Um, because it is talking about flirting and being playful. But it's also showing how this is energy that I do feel like is going to last the rest of your life. You know, I can't guarantee that because there's free will. Even your guides can't guarantee that. But I definitely feel like what they're saying here is this is energy that's been predestined. Even if I already know this person, again, I can just think about um, mine and Sam's story. You know, I knew him. I loved him. Um, you know, he told me he loved me. We were like 16 and I couldn't say those words back. Even though I did love him, I, I, it's just the way I was raised. So I had a hard time. A matter of fact, I didn't say it back and he broke up with me and it was heart wreck. Yeah. I mean, it just broke my heart. Um, but then I went on and lived my life and he went on and lived his life. And then out of the blue. You know, though, he told me, I know I've had people ask me, like, what made Sam pick up the phone and call you after all those years? He said God put it in his heart. That God put it in his heart. And I had just broken up with someone. So to jump right back into something, though, with Sam, I did. I'm saying I did, but I, but listen, it took five years before we came into union. And that was, it was me. You know, it was like, the like, it was fear, you know, because that meant I was, I had to leave one state and move to another state. Um, so there was a lot of things that I had to get over on my own um, until one day I just made that decision. I'm like, you know what? Just book your flight, book your flight. And that way you'll you'll do it because I wanted to. So I understand the fear factor of this, but I'm also in on the other side of it now, where we are in union, where we really do love each other. And I even understand this side of it. Because again, it was, I was only single for two weeks. And it was during the weakest moment when I was just about ready to pick up the phone. Well, I know I did pick up the phone and I was going to invite the person that I just broke up with over. And then my call waiting came in and it was Sam. And he opened it up by singing the first line to uh, Night Moves by Bob Seger. I know many of you have heard this story. But it's but it feels so fitting here. And I do feel like we're all one big soul family. So, you know, that's the reason why I share my experiences, because I feel many of you are going to have similar type experiences. But that's the kind of way this feels to me. Like I wasn't thinking about Sam at that moment. I was even thinking about, you know, I was in that that temptation type energy, like calling something back to me that I knew that I shouldn't. 
And do I feel like God saved me from that? Yes. Not that the person was horrible, but the relationship was done. So, oh, what's this? Two cards. Look at that. The lovers. Look at this. I don't know when these cards came out. I have no clue when these cards came out. But look at this. The lovers and the ace of pentacles. So the ace of pentacles signifies something is coming into your physical world. That means they're coming into your world. What is it? The lovers. So the meaning of the lovers is a head over heart decision. And that may be part of it. But I feel like this is talking about the chemistry of two people. I don't even know when these cards came out. But boy, it was just divine timing that I found them when I did. Because I feel like this is the perfect closing. Except for Mother Mary. We still want to do Mother Mary. Um, you know... Ace of Pen you have the Ace of Wands, that inspired action. And then the Ace of Pentacles, it's coming into my physical world. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when it comes for you? All right, let's take Mother Mary over this reading. Interesting, I thought to myself at the beginning, I should make this a shorter reading. Um, but none of my readings are short. But I put no time limit on them either. I know some people do. You know, I, I get a lot of comments where people are like, you you talk too much. <laughs> Your readings are too long. And I, uh, by the way, I don't take that on. Like, I don't take that. Um, You know, like, I give it no thought. I, I know who I am. I know the type of reader I am. And, um, you know, it's only my guides who would make me change. So, well, I shouldn't say that because I do listen to what you have to say. But for those who call for these short little readings, it's just not my style. I've even tried them and I wasn't satisfied. You know... My readings are to bring about, hopefully, real solutions. All right. But anyway, Ace of Pentacles and the Lovers. When they came out, who knows? But here they are. Judgment. Present moment energy. Why? Because there's about to be a rebirth. The death card. Closing of old doors. Why? So that a new door can open. The new door that opens just so happens to be the Ten of Pentacles. So I don't feel like anybody here is a bum. <laughs> Excuse my language. I feel like everyone's got their shit together. Now, it, it doesn't even it doesn't mean like I have my emotional shit together. You know, but I'm I'm on the way. All right, Mother Mary brought out quite a few. Gratitude. As I notice and appreciate my blessings, I open the door to more of God's gifts. Gratitude. Quiet. Quiet. I go into peaceful silence and I listen. I like this because I know you're going to be guided. Trust. I know that God, in his infinite wisdom and love, is answering my prayers right now. You know, these prayers can be answered in the most unexpected of ways. You know, when I think about Sam and I being back together, it is an answered prayer. Did I expect it? No. I don't even know that I prayed it. Yet, I do know like in that Five of Cups, that he often came to my mind. You know, the truth is, 
he really owned my heart. We have enthusiasm. Whatever I am most passionate about is the direction I flow. And last but not least, tenderness. I am both gentle and powerful. That's the Empress's energy. That's the Empress's energy. And I find it interesting being your last card because who better to come together than the Empress, the Empress and the Emperor? Gratitude, quiet, trust, enthusiasm, and tenderness. Where did that power come from? Your experiences and your willingness to look at them, understand them, even know your own part in them. You know, I feel like we have to know who we are in all areas of our life, like as it relates to love. You know, maybe I've been a giver and now I want to receive. But it does need to be equal. Um, and because I feel like this feels like the Empress's energy, this is talking about a high vibrational love. So, you know, maybe it's taken me a moment to get my own vibration up. And I know a lot of you have. I know a lot of you have. And interesting because I feel like gratitude kind of relates back to that nine of cups, that inner harmony. And listen, maybe one of the things I'm grateful for is that I did separate from energy that just wasn't serving me any longer. And quiet is relating back to that Ace of Swords. Inspired action. Signs. Getting excited for your, about your life again. And... I do, one more time, feel like this is predestined. Doesn't mean it has to be, because you do have free will. And I feel like if, if I do have fear, the best thing I could do is just take it slow. You know, you can say no. But I feel like even if you say no, I feel like the emperor would understand why you're saying no and try to help you um, you know, help you in which way? Well, I'm feeling a lot of different ways. Maybe just give you an ear, a shoulder to cry on. Um, the emperor himself has probably been through some of these same type of situations because if it's predestined, I often feel like these soulmates have gone through similar energies, you know, it's, and again, sorry to talk about Sam and I, but you know, when we started having conversations again, um, with the, one of the things that we realized is we had so much in common, like some of the things that we've gone through. Okay. I think I'm going to leave it there, guys. Um, you know, I feel like we're seeing two sides of a coin. And I know some of you are still in some difficult situations. And ultimately, it is your choice, right? It's always going to be your choice. But my eye keeps going back to that five of cups. You know, what lies behind that change? The two cups. Here they are. Not only here they are, but again, it's like, even if I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm not ready for love, I still would just follow like the inspiration that you're feeling. Like if you feel like, and by the way, let's say you're like, ah, oh, I don't know if that was a sign. 
Ask your guides to send it again. They will. They'll make it clear for you, even if you got to ask again. But then eventually you got to trust. And I feel like even if I'm not expecting this, but I follow the inspiration, I feel like you're going to say yes. Or, you know, I don't even know if there needs to be a yes or no. I feel like you're just going to allow the energy to be and then move accordingly. And I feel like the rest will take care of itself. Okay, I'm going to let that be. Um, yeah, I didn't, I really was not planning on doing this long of a reading, but it needed what it needed. So I feel like it really covered everything. Um, so I cannot wait to read your comments. I know I say that all the time, but I love your comments and your comments really help give, you know, they, they help give me confirmation. I was, I was going to say, say they help clarify, but I'm very confident in what I read. So I feel like more like just knowing where you're at within this reading. And by the way, the reason why I talk about comments also is and that's why I talk about Sam and I, to give you some hope. Because again, the situation I'm in was completely un unexpected. And I could have said no. I could have just hung the phone up. But I didn't. And now we are in union. And it did take me five years. And I don't judge myself for that. That's just what I needed. It's just how much time I needed. Now, I'm so grateful. So, bottom line. Um, I feel like many of you are going to be following suit. And I feel like if you yourself know what I'm talking about as it relates to this energy, this difficult energy, and you have separated, um, you know, and you are on the other side of that, your your comments can truly help others who are still like in this energy, thinking about maybe this separation, but not sure of it. You know what I mean? Like, oh, well, how do I know what lies on the other side? Sometimes you just got to take a leap of faith. And that's what the fool is. The fool is about taking a leap of faith. And allowing this new beginning. And it's exactly how we opened the reading. With the fool looking right at the world. Like the fool is saying. I'm ready for this new chapter. Even if I'm not even saying love. I'm just ready for a new chapter in my life. And so it begins. Alright guys. Thank you. I love you. I hope you find value in the reading. Um, and again. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. So, I love you so much. This is definitely a soulmate, by the way. You know, could even be twin flame, but let's just say soulmate. Um, I have no doubt in that. And to me, it definitely feels predestined. And I hope that helps give you a little comfort, I guess, is why I'm saying that. But otherwise, I'm going to stop talking now. I love you. I'll see you next time at our table. Bye-bye.